Okay, today we're gonna install web GUI um, using a beta installer written by Scotty, uh, usually found in the IR IRC chat room uh, of the web GUI site. Um, the instructions are actually at a link that we'll show you later, but for now, I'm gonna just go through the steps uh, one at a time and you'll see how easy it is to install web GUI version 8 uh, in a brand new installation of CentOS or even an existing installation it should be just as simple all right let's get started first things first let me make sure my interface is up okay done deal so now we go and install wget using yum. Yum is a utility that actually comes with CentOS, with the actual OS. Uh, basically it downloads packages or software from the uh, repositories or different websites and installs them on the local copy of the OS. Well, WGET is already installed, so we saved that trouble. We're going to install Perl. Ah, excellent. It's already installed. So those two are good. Next thing, we're going to actually download the installer provided by Scrotty. Well, Scrotty is his uh, IRC username. Or that's, that's the way I say it, at least. GitHub.com. Yes. Two nine seven three five five eight. Web installer.pl. No. Check. Certificate. The installer is downloaded. And I'm going to go ahead and just run that installer. Hit enter. Take a lot of the defaults here that are pretty sensible. It installed some uh, Perl packages that it obviously needs. Uh, it's installing compiler. Well, it's installing software that actually is required for the installation of Web GUI. I know that sounds kind of redundant, but Installing to install. Uh, this may not be a requirement in uh, existing installations. A lot of the software uh, may be already installed. I'm using uh, a brand new, fresh CentOS uh, installation. That's why it, it probably is installing a lot of this stuff. But otherwise, if you have an existing central system or, or another supported uh, existing uh, Linux distribution, it will probably install without a lot of hassle. So far, uh, what I've actually had to run since uh, wget and Perl were already installed are two commands, downloading the installer and running the installer. Okay, here we go. This is the actual web GUI installer. So because most of the selections are pretty sensible, I'm just gonna accept uh, most of the defaults here. So I'll just hit enter a lot of these keys. If you have questions, domain name, this is the, when we, you can run it on any domain you want, of course. We're just using this domain name, um, uh, for our local installation, but you can call it, you know, any uh, URL that you want. This is the installation directory where it's going to actually place the web GUI software, and this is the uh, usual default, the slash data directory. I use news, uh, new username to run web GUI. I usually select uh, create. The, I use the same 
thing here with GUI as a username. As I said earlier, I take the sensible defaults. It's updating all this stuff. Okay, again. So in database stuff. Okay. Usually, uh, you do not need, if you're the root user, you usually do not need a um, password to log into the database. However, we're going to put in uh, the password 123QWE as this is the same password for the web GUI admin user when you first log into web GUI. You could do make this whatever you want, of course, but I usually use something that I'm going to remember or I use no password at all. Okay, except most of the sensible defaults here. Okay. Okay, here's where it actually goes to GitHub. GitHub is a, a, a website where it has a, a, repo, Git, a Git repository. Uh, and Plain Black are the company that actually uh, developed and supports Web GUI, uh, hosts a um, the web GUI software there. So this this portion here is going to download a fresh copy. It's going to create a local copy of the web GUI software. Okay, it's Git is a well, Git is another video altogether. There's plenty. There are plenty of videos on YouTube uh, about Git and the. Uh, how to use Git and what it does and what it's used for. So I really don't want to go into that right now. But there's a lot of good information on YouTube uh, about Git. Okay, this takes a few moments here. In the near future here, it's going to go through um, installing the Pro modules that are required by Web GUI. Um, during that process, I'm going to actually uh, cut the video when that starts or in the middle of it, whichever comes first. And um, okay. And then I'll come back once it finishes or it gives me any type of, uh, okay, any type of issue that I need to resolve. I'm trying to install this and, and make this video about uh, a successful problem-free installation. If I would like a local fresh copy of Web GUI as well as testing this installer. It looks like we're on our way here. So I'm going to go ahead and get some other stuff done and I'll come back to the installation once it's either complete or almost complete. 